Some pretty scary new data coming from an analyst at the University of Central Florida. It shows opioid overdoses in Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties increased 25% since last year. Yeah, and the year before that, overdoses increased in those three counties another 46%. The numbers are prompting community stakeholders to figure out a solution. News 6 investigator Maris Badcock spoke to some of those stakeholders today. Maris, what's the reason for this huge increase? Well, Ginger, they believe that isolation from the pandemic played a possible part in the overdose increase that we're seeing right now. But the main culprit they cited, fentanyl, a synthetic opioid that you cannot get at a pharmacy and is more potent than heroin. And in some of these stakeholders believe it's now being mixed into all kinds of drugs. Overdose deaths, which were once on the decline, are now setting new record highs prompting a group of community stakeholders to gather in Orlando to figure out how to fix the problem. The event was hosted by Project Opioid, a group focused on empowering leaders to confront the opioid crisis. 911, what do you need, please, fire or medical? According to Project Opioid's researchers, roughly 22 Floridians died every day last year from an opioid overdose. Come on, bud. Come on, there you go. Wake up, wake up. And here in the Tri-County area of Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties, 70% of those deaths were caused by fentanyl. These death numbers are unprecedented. Fentanyl is in all of these substances that are out there. People who are experiment, experimenting with drugs, sometimes with cannabis and other substances, are taking fentanyl and not even knowing it. Hey! Last year, Seminole County deputies had to bring overdosed people back to life 800 times, according to the sheriff. This is not fentanyl. This is a, a, a fentanyl example. This amount of fentanyl is enough to kill everyone in this room. We had 200 guests here today. According to Project Opioids' most recent report, fentanyl is 100 times more potent than heroin and is being pressed into fake Oxycontin, Xanax, and Adderall pills that are so convincing physicians can't distinguish between them and the real deal. One solution, Narcan, a drug which blocks the effects of opiates and can literally give someone a second chance at life, at least long enough to get them to an emergency room. Yeah, we all remember the dare, right? The dare, don't do drugs. And that didn't really work. The war on drugs from that perspective didn't really work. So we at Project Opioid have are just out there trying to tell people that if you are addicted to drugs, if you are using drugs, to please have naloxone, Narcan available. Everyone who attended the Project Opioid discussion was given one of these boxes right here. This is an opiate blocker, Narcan, and can help prevent someone's heart from stopping if they're suffering from an overdose. Now, Sheriff Lehman, Lima tells me one dose typically gives someone an extra 90 minutes, which is usually enough time to get them to a hospital. Folks who attended were also taught how to use Narcan. There is some startling information in, in that really? piece just now. Okay, so what if you witness someone who's having an overdose, right? And you don't have Narcan. People might be afraid to call 911 in that situation, especially if they are also using it. What can you do? That's a really good question. And you might have heard of this before. Sheriff Lima tells me, call 911 because there's th this thing called the Good Samaritan Law that will protect anyone from criminal prosecution if they call 911 to help save somebody's life who's having an overdose, even if that person is also using drugs. Good 800 to know. lives saved, though. Yeah, unbelievable. It yeah. really is. The numbers would be so much more if we didn't have that. If it hadn't saved hundreds of people, yeah. All right.